So, Kelly, on day one in Miami, you went after Gina's extensions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm all about change. No, this and is like, not a good that blonde is like ridiculous. You gotta yes. get rid of that f***ing do. It's the f***ing worst. You talked about Shannon's hair. She was too old for her hairdo. Yeah. She's like 60. You have to cut it short. Stop! Uh, can we talk about how Kelly pulled my hair in the lobby? And then you need to cut that hair too. You need to cut that hair too. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little fuzzy. Like, that's a fuzzy memory. It was like 4.30 in the morning. No, it wasn't that late, maybe. But it was, and once again, that's physical contact. Stop yeah, touching me. Go. I want my friends to look their best. I think you get to a certain age, you you need to chop your hair short. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you can't Let's act just, like you're okay. young. Let's just, okay. First you, of all, anything she said to Gina about her hair, she said to her face. Yeah. I, I'm trying to help Gina. Listen, the white witch is not looking well on you. Shannon, extensions is like aging you. And you took a shot at Tamara too, didn't you? <laughs> Tamara likes to be a little thirsty chick. Like she wants everyone to look at her. She still thinks she's 20 years old. What are you doing? Have some decorum, at least for your grandchildren. What happened? You, you, are, you are the morality police. <laughs> you are the fashion. Morality. You are the fashion police. So what precipitated this? What did you? <laughs> Kelly <laughs> drinks a little and gets me. Okay, booze. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh no! <laughs> I drink a little and the truth serum comes out. <laughs> That's what happens. Drinking <gasps> is the truth serum. I say it the way it is. She's like, "What the f is wrong with your hair?" <laughs> yeah, it's the truth serum. That's what this is. Bronwyn, tell me about seeing Vicky on this trip. Okay, so before the trip, I kind of jokingly said, I like the goal of my trip is maybe Vicky will notice I exist. You know, and I mean, I said it as a joke. Mm -hmm. And so when we got there, there was two suites, and I gave one to her and I gave her champagne. And she came over to my room and we actually talked for a while oh. that first night. Oh. And we got along and I was hoping it would be great and everything and it, I, you know. And it did, it got better. <laughs> she's, she's, yeah. I, I think if you put v Vicky and I in a room together, it would be fine, like it would be. Sure, it, it would. It, yeah, we get along great. It's a very nurturing side to Vicky. I, and I've, I've gotten I to know that. I don't think people see enough of that. That's right. Like I, you know, I, I was trying with her because we have not had the easiest transition. Why do you think that was? Because I came in hot. Hot. I came in hot. First time meeting her, she said, I don't like you. <laughs> I get an instant vibe from everyone. I'm still a little iffy with you right now. Your perception of me is not correct. I know who I am. Don't listen to outsiders. Listen to me. Okay. I listen to my gut. Whatever. I don't really care. I. That's me. That's I take 100% ownership of that. Mm -hmm. I I came in hot. Where did that come from? Why, why well, come yeah, in hot? And you're sitting here saying, oh, I don't stick up for myself. Right. Yeah. When I first met Kelly and Jolie, I was seeing the text messages that Jolie was getting. People no, are DMing was... me calling you cokehead, but whatever. Because Vicky said it. I was like pissed. Uh, and that's where it comes from. And I was so angry at, like, I was reading hundreds of DMs that Jolie was getting. And I was broken. All of our kids get it. Really? Uh, yeah, my kids get it. My kids haven't gotten any yet. They will. They will. Not to say that she hasn't had more. I don't, I don't know. That's, like, that's not okay. They do. They do. And so I... If I could go back and start over, there's so much I would do different. But that's one of the things. Absolutely, 100%. Does Vicky struggle to say Bronwyn's name? She calls her all kinds of things. I don't know who Browned Wind is. Boring Wind um, is going. What'd you call her? Somebody said her name was Boring Wind. What was it, Boring Wind? <laughs> First it was Brown Wind, then Boring, boring wind. wind. I'm like, when she said that, I'm like, Really? Boring wind? <laughs>
Does everyone get a nickname? Do you have a nickname? Oh, I'm sure I have a nickname. I just don't know what it is. Oh yeah, tell it, tell it. What'd she call me? Say the other day. Tell telephone, tell a Tamara. I'm not gonna tell you. What? Telephone, tell a Tamara. I'm, not... I'm like, I know I have a big mouth. Like if I have like a few drinks in me, and then all of a sudden it just comes out. And if I was sober, I would never say these things. But right. if I have a few drinks, then it just kind of like. All right, if you had your choice, brown wind or boring wind, which one would you go with? Boring wind. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> because that's clearly not the case. <laughs> At least she can pronounce my name now. It seemed like, okay, so there's, you know, obviously there's the issue with the lawsuit and all of that stuff. So here's the situation, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to be quite honest with okay. this, okay? So I had it with her, okay? And so I felt the need, and she was coming after me, I said to Shannon, tell Tamara to shut the f up or I will be a character witness, all I wrote. I didn't go against her. I didn't go in court. I was an idle threat to tell her to shut the f up or else I will do this. That's it. Tamara, she doesn't know the extent of the hurt what she does to people. She's spreading rumors that she won't shut the f up. She's trying to manipulate everybody because that's what she does. She gets these little things. She gets, tries to find little information about them and expose people. This is a thing that she does for the last 14 years. This is who she is. So I did something so bad that she'll never talk to me again. You know what? Shut the f up. How about I never talk to you again? How about that? How do you find out about Vicky's engagement? Vicky called me to let me know that he proposed. Did you know he was going to propose to her? I had talked to Steve on camera, and he told me that he was going to propose to her. I'm planning my proposal. I have already have the ring. Everything's set oh, to you go. Oh, the ring? Yeah. Oh. And so. How are you going to do it? That's the secret. It's going to be like at a baseball game or some big event, and, and it, that didn't happen. It was at home over a bottle of wine. But, you know, I think I was surprised that he didn't do it on camera. Why? I don't know, because there was all these stories swirling around, like Vicky's gonna pull some trick out to save her job, and she's gonna get, he's gonna propose to her on camera. So there was all these stories just going around and around and around, and I thought, okay, well, whatever. And then she's like, oh, he proposed. And so I just assumed, like, it was on camera. Her, everything about her life in the last 14 years has been on camera. And it was, no, it was in the backyard um, over a bottle of wine. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more videos, click here.